tonight. One of the men who was allegedly shot at with fireworks yesterday in Manchester speaking out. He and another worker were in the air painting a fourth story apartment when they say a man across the street simply opened fire on them. Let's go to WMUR's Mike Cronin. He's in the newsroom with more on that. Mike? Yeah, Tom, these two men say they found themselves in the middle of this chaotic scene with fireworks exploding around them, smashing windows. The suspect's wife says he didn't mean it. First came the noise. Just like, tush, tush, just like rapid fire. Then the explosions. So there's glass going everywhere. There's fireworks. The colors of the fireworks are exploding all around, all, all around us. You can feel them burn in the back of our necks. Mike Capone and his coworker were on a lift, 30 feet in the air with nowhere to go while high-powered fireworks were being launched at them. There's people whose apartment windows got blown out. We're obviously yelling. Everyone's screaming. Everyone's coming out from the construction companies. No one knows. It sounded like, you know, war going on out here. As they've done for the past two months, they were painting apartments on Lincoln Street Thursday morning. Police say 28-year-old Thomas Stokes began shooting at them from his home across the street. Capone says they took cover. Duck! Behind here, popping up, screaming at him, ducking, pop, screaming at him. It's crazy. Stokes is charged with reckless conduct and two misdemeanors. His wife, who didn't want her face on camera, says he hasn't been right since he was in an elevator accident several years ago. She doesn't think he was trying to hurt anyone. He has so many issues. He's on many, many, many medications that impair his judgment. For Capone, it was business as usual Friday. He's thankful they weren't hurt. If it would have hit one of us, it would have been bad. Prosecutors point out that Stokes has a criminal background that includes stalking and criminal threatening. His bail was set at $5,000 cash, and he'll be back in court next month. Live in the newsroom.